Hi, I'm Trish from Schumacher, and here's our new four-wheel drive, the Cat K2. Weight distribution is a big part of this car. You now have four possible battery locations. You can run the LiPo across, at the back, at the front. You can run saddle packs, or you can have the shorty battery lengthways. When running the battery lengthways, this will help with tight twisty tracks, uh, allowing the car to rotate a little bit faster. But when you come to bumpy tracks, we find that running the battery across is more consistent and easier to drive. Other features of the K2, we have a slim chassis and a longer wheelbase. The long wheelbase helps the car through bumpy sections as well as making the car more consistent. Taper chassis allows the car to corner harder so you can really push into high speed bends. Also on the K2 we have a new compact steering system. There's an inline servo which helps with weight balance and on the steering system we have an adjustable turnbuckle which will adjust your acumen. Running it shorter will make the car more aggressive going into the bend and running it longer will give you more feel going into the bend. On the new K2 we have a pocketed chassis for a lower CAG motor. We have a four plate slipper clutch for increased cooling and easier setup. We also have the easier belt removal by four screws. Now with the wheels off, I'd like to show you some of the other benefits of the K2. The rear outer hinge pin and the front inner hinge pin are now strengthened. The front pickup system is over a much greater span, which improves strength and rigidity in that area. We have a new captive ball joint, which will stop any ball joints being forced off in crashes. We have a 2.5 millimeter aluminum chassis, hard anodized black, and a three millimeter top deck, front and rear. For stiffness on this car, you'll see aluminum rails running down the sides of the car. This will be able to be adjusted by removing them or adding them to adjust the car in different conditions. We have new steering yokes. These allow for more lock as well as roll sensor height adjustment, which is going to improve the car on a number of different tracks, depending on the surface and the conditions in which you're racing in. On the rear of the car, we have one of our biggest changes. We have new wishbones and chassis mounted suspension. This is easier to set up, it's stronger, and makes the car a little bit easier to drive. With all the new features of the car, coupled with the new body shell and the new wing, this makes an excellent package. For more details, visit racing-cars.com. See you at the track.